here. Oh, okay. Um, I want to give honor to God um, for being here this morning. Um, me and the kids were up here on Zoom. I want to thank him for um, everything he's done for me this past week and what's coming. Um, I'm ready to get some words so I can um, put on my armor for this week. So Amen. I'm ready to hear the word. Amen. All right. All right. To God be the glory. All right. Okay, villagers. Let's go ahead and we're going to kick it off, get in the word. All right, so we're coming out of the book of uh, the second Corinthians, second book of the Corinthians. Uh, we're going to come out of chapter four. We're going to read verse eight through 18, eight through 18. So somebody, I would need you to, let's read, uh, just do again four verses a piece until we get to 18, please. So the first person start at verse eight and then read four uh, verses and then so on. I got you. All I got right, you. let's go. Let's got it. Go. All right. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Uh, always be bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus. <clears throat> you said four of them, right? Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. One, That's two, three. Okay, four is number 11. And um, <clears throat> dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body, for which we, for we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus sake that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh all right so then death worketh in us but life in you we have in the same spirit of faith according as it is written I believe and therefore have I spoken we also believe and therefore speak, knowing that we which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many refound to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to the reading of the word of God. Amen. amen. So this is uh, Apostle Paul, and he's laboring. We can see he's doing some laboring in the, in the spirit in the word, getting this word out to these Corinthians, these people that the new believers that gave their life over to Christ. This is his second letter that he wrote to them. Again, when you with, when he first began opening up churches throughout the world, uh, the Corinthian church was in Greece. So these people had their own customs, their own traditions. Um, there was no nothing about God, the one true God, even just uh, the one true God, they knew nothing about it. So it, like, again, it takes laboring to get the message across. When you sow in the seed, you know, you have to articulate just like Apostle Paul is doing here. Now, what he's telling the people now that he's gone, sometimes when you first give your life to Christ, you will face obstacles because you're in a learning process. Things will come your way. This is why it was important 
for Paul to write these letters to encourage the body of believers, the new, the babes in Christ. He said, we are troubled on every side. He said, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. He's saying, yes, trouble may come. We're in distress, so we're stressed out. We're perplexed. Sometimes we don't know what decision to make. Sometimes we don't know which way to go. Being perplexed, being an undecisive, being a double-minded. But he said, we are not forsaken. We are still not cast down. We cast down, but not destroyed. See, the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And Paul is letting the child of God know he's going to come, but God will never forsake you. The things will come your way, but it shall not prosper. He uh, said it will not destroy us. Uh, so things will come. And we have to understand the stuff that he said always bearing about in the body, the dying of the Lord Jesus, the stuff, the nasty stuff in us is dying out every day, every day, the ugly, the ugly, whatever it is, the bitterness, the sadness, the hopelessness is dying every day. It is a process so that God can bring us through. And the next time you go through something, you won't be ready to go AWOL. Amen. Amen. All of these trials and tribulation. They only come, y'all, to make us strong. God is always there. It's only a, you're passing through it, whatever it may be, whatever it may be. He's explaining to us it's dying in our bodies, so you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel the sadness. You're going to feel the stress. It ain't something you're going to flow through life and don't feel nothing. Amen. You are going to feel the repercussions of the process that the Holy Ghost is working in us. Amen. Yes. But what the brother apostle is saying to us, he's saying to us that flesh, he said, it may be manifest in your mortal, your mortal flesh. It's going to feel uncomfortable to the flesh when the Holy Ghost is taking that mess out of us each and every day. He's taking something ugly out and he's putting something pretty in. So Amen. we have to be able to go through the process. You have to look at it as, I don't know what is going on, but this God of mine, he's taking out something that's not supposed to be there, and he's replacing it with something that's going to help you on your journey. Hallelujah Amen. to Jesus. God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Paul is trying to get the child of God's mind. He said, for which cause we faint not. We don't give up. We don't just throw the towel in. We don't just start going back to Egypt. We don't start murmuring and complaining. I want to go back. Why is it so hard? How come I gave my life to Christ and now I got to go through all of this stuff? He's letting us know for one day you have an eternal home. And this home where we at is not our home. We have a home in glory. So you have to remember whatever affliction I may be going through. My God told me he will deliver me from all my afflictions. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, for our light affliction, meaning compared to what Jesus had to go through, compared to what the original 12 disciples had to go through, we are not going through anything on the measure what they had to experience. So Paul is letting the child of God know don't you be weary because God is on our side. If God is for us, who can be against us? This life is.
is temporary. You have to remember, I'm only passing through it, but God is going to see me through. If I just hold on and uh, hold on and don't give up, stay on your race, stay on your journey for amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. So we have to understand, God says he will make a way out of no way. Paul is saying right here, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporary. So don't get stuck paying all your energy and attention to the stuff that you're going through. He said, look at, but the things which are not seen are eternal. The spirit of God is eternal. He said he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. So while we're passing through trouble, and you got to say to God be the glory. The Holy Ghost will make a way. He will clear a pathway for me to walk through on every side. Wherever the devil come for me, I shall walk through because because Jesus paid the price for me on Calvary. So I'm going to walk through this thing. If it's hard time, let it be. But let yourself know. You have to tell yourself everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and give God some praise. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. You have to make sure that you're looking to Jesus when the trouble comes. Like T.T. said earlier, she has to realize when the thought comes for you to give up, for you to not get on the Zoom, for you to not read your word, for you to not get closer to God. you got to open up your mouth and say, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus because all of my help comes from the Lord. All of my help comes from the Lord. The only way the walls of Jericho will fall down. I got to go around the wall six times. And the Lord said on the seventh time, cry out, cry out, cry out, and the walls will come tumbling down. Sometimes you got to cry out. You got to shout unto the Lord. You have to cry out, cry out, cry out. Stop trying to handle it on your own. Cry out to God. So the walls of Jericho will start cracking. You will hear the crack. The crackling begin. The crackling. And eventually the louder you scream and clap your hands and give God the glory. It will come down in the name of Jesus. Every fall, everything that's coming against the child of God, when you shout unto the king of glory. He will send help your way. He will send help your way. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in me also in my father. For in my father's house, there are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. He goes to prepare a place for us. We have to be happy about it. This is just temporary. Do not let this take your joy. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Keep going to God. Keep giving him glory. Keep giving him honor because he's preparing a place for you. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to Jesus. So we just have to remember, saints, as you go on this journey, things are going to come our way. But God is saying you can't put all your energy, all your resources in the trouble. You got to put your energy, all your resources in God. When you feel like crying, that's when you need to say, hallelujah, anyhow, hallelujah, anyhow. There was a song back in the day that said, hallelujah, trouble may come, but hallelujah, anyhow, hallelujah, 
anyhow. No matter what's going on, hallelujah, anyhow. I'm not going to let the trouble take over my life. I'm still going to praise God anyway. You have to push yourself. You have to push yourself. And the only way you can push yourself is through practicing the things of God. So he will hear your voice and he will send your help to you. You can't stop practicing, especially when you're in trouble. Hey, hallelujah. Anyhow, Somebody say hallelujah because you can't stop when you're in trouble because that's the time you have to go hard in the pain. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. So the Lord will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing where oh, you Lord. won't have room to store it. He will honor your praise. He will honor your worship because he's looking for us to look to the hills which come in our help. Our help comes from the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't look to a man. Don't look to a woman to bring you love, bring you compassion, bring you compassion. Look to Jesus. Hallelujah. Can no man give you and do you like Jesus? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. So on today, saints, he said, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver us from them all. We have to understand as his children, we have, when we're in perplexed situation, we are not destroyed. We are still here in our right mind. We have to let the Lord know if it had not been for you, God, if it had not been for your mercy, God, if it had not been for your grace, even though I may be stressed out, even though I may be perplexed, even though I may feel despair, but Lord Almighty, I'm going to trust in you because you are the one that paid for me on Calvary. I will let nothing separate me from the love of Jesus Christ. Nothing will separate me, no matter how bad I feel, no matter what I'm going through. Sooner or later, like the Bible said, Jesus told the disciples, tell Peter when he got come to himself. You got to learn how to come to yourself, come to your senses, and know that your God is the only true living God. Even though you say it, you must feel it. You must know it in your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. And when you face in trouble land, that's when you lift your hand and say to the most high God, I give honor, I give glory. Father, I'm looking to you today to work it out, work it out, work it out, Holy Ghost. Whatever the situation is, the Lord will work it out for you because he will stand. He is the God. He is the host of the army of the Lord. There's nothing too hard for him to work out, no matter what it looked like. What did he say? He said, don't look at what you see. You look at what you know. Amen. You know your God is the only true and living God. You know he has never lost a battle. You know that he is greater than the one in the world that's trying to bring you trouble, that's trying to bring you down. But the king of glory will set the record straight for you. All you have to do, keep giving him the praise. Keep giving him the honor. Keep glorifying his name. Don't let the enemy stop you from praising God. Hallelujah. Because that's the trick. That's the trick to get you to stop praising God. Your help comes from him. 
So you can't let nothing, nobody stop you from praising your God and giving him the honor and giving him the glory because you know that your answer is with him. Yes. Your deliverance is with him. Praise your healing is with him. Praise the Lord. So you keep your communication open with him at all times. When you're going through, when you ain't going through. When you're feeling good, when you ain't feeling good. When it's cloudy outside, when it's raining, when it's sunny, no matter what, keep your communication always open with the Lord. Raise your hand if you got what I'm saying, if you getting it. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory be to God. Because Paul wants us to know, like he wanted the Corinthian people to know, yes, it's going to be trouble and affliction. It's going to come our way because the devil knows that we belong to the Lord. So he's going to test and try us. He tested and tried them way back then. And they went through way more stuff than we ever going to go through. Mm. Because that generation was different back then. Okay. So, you know, nowadays, like I said, it's getting, it's inching uh, persecution for Christians is coming. It's in America. They just ain't really putting no press on it yet. But it's here. They're persecuting people here. They may not be doing it on the level the other foreign countries are doing it, but they don't start, y'all. They don't start it. So we have to know we're living in the last and evil days. We have to know whatever we're saying again, like I said last Sunday, whatever we're proclaiming, we our lifestyle, everything about us, it has to show. It has to show that he's the king of glory in my life. It has to show that I trust in the Lord with all my might yes amen it has to show that in our lives we can't proclaim it and then there's no demonstration god is all about demonstrating demonstrate like monique said she witnessed to the lady and the lady and, and whoever it was it felt you know they they could feel you know the anointing of the holy ghost uh uh gabrielle talking to people now with scripture you gotta make sure it's you're doing extra go to extra yard when the devil got you on the rope that's when you gotta come with the one two one two one, two, one, two. You got to start doing more things. You got to practice more. You got to start saying, get in the custom of, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I don't receive it in the name of Jesus. Back to the sender in the name of Jesus. No hey. weapon form again. Y'all have to understand. Y'all have to say this with your mouth. Hey, you man. don't just cry at night and cry and, and complain. You got to open your mouth and start quoting scripture. That's right. Yeah. Hey, In the man. land of the living. That's what awakens your situation. That's what awakens the spirit in your situation. The Holy Ghost will come and fight for you. All that crying and stuff. Yes, we're going to cry. But you got to get up and you got to fight back. Amen. You got to get up. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I don't care if you, if that's the only scripture you know. You keep saying it every single day. Keep saying it. That chases the devil off. You know, the word of God, y'all, it chases bad energy away from you. Amen. It Thank cannot, re, darkness and light cannot mix together. So therefore, when you feeling down, 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 you have to lift yourself up in your situation for the change to come with the word of God. Thank His you. word is what changes your situation. And by you being obedient to it, no matter what the devil's throwing your way, you keep quoting the word of God, even if it's one scripture. Amen. Keep quoting it. Keep reciting it. What 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 did the Bible what did the Bible say? Meditate on it. What day and night. Meditate on it. Day and night. 
so that you, it can get in your spirit. So when trouble come your way and here come this demon, here come this devil, you will have that scripture in your heart and it'll come out of you. Amen. It'll come out of you. And that's called fighting. That's what the Lord say, I will fight for you. But you, God gives us the tools, we have to use them, y'all. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> God gives us the tools. We have to use them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So I just want to say on today, I want everybody to be encouraged because this is just a journey. We're passing through. What the, the, the children of Israel, oh my gosh, I was reading the book, uh, uh, book of Numbers last night and you know, they went through so much fighting. Jesus, every time you turn around, they had to fight this nation, that nation, this nation, that nation. It was so, that's to let us know, this ain't going to be no cakewalk. But no matter what nation they had to fight, y'all, guess what? Guess what? They never lost a battle. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. Hello, Thank somebody. You. Thank you, Jesus. Hello. Now, was, was this mess going on? Yes. Was sometimes, were they nervous? Yes. But guess what? They put their faith in the Lord. They kept saying it with their mouth. That's a, another, not, a, a, not enough believers are opening up their mouth saying it. You got to open your mouth and say it in the atmosphere. You got to put it in your surrounding and where you at. You got to put the word of God out there. That's what changes your situation. Not by getting upset, not by just... You know, well, I ain't gonna go to church no more. I ain't gonna read my no, not by shutting down. You get God's response by quoting his word. Thank you, Jesus. He said, I will go before you. I will go before you. I will go before you. These other nations ain't got nothing on you. He told Joshua, when Joshua looked and said, Lord, they already look like they got more than us. But what did God tell him? He said, on tomorrow, I will put them in your hands. Every last king that has joined together against y'all, I'm going to put them in your hands tomorrow. By this time tomorrow, y'all will be victorious. I'm going to put the enemy in your hand. I'm going to put the enemy under your foot. I'm going to put the enemy under your control, but you have to have faith in your God. You have to know he will fight the battle for me. He ain't never lost one yet, and he will never lose one. You have to get excited about your God, knowing what he has done for everybody in the Bible that he has brought out, brought them out of slavery, 400 years, brought our ancestors, the black folk, out of slavery, over 200 years. He has done marvelous things for all of us, even when we was not living to see it, to witness it. But we know through history, he has brought them out. He has brought them out, brought them out a lot of hardship, brought them out a lot of addictions, brought them out a lot of losing their minds. He brought them out, brought them out, brought them out. We would not be here today if he had not brought our ancestors out. Amen. So when you're going through hard times, we have to sit and take record on what the Lord has already done. Thank you, Jesus. That builds our faith. Thank and like Paul said, don't just keep looking at what you see. Look at what you know. I know he brought every child of God in his Bible out. He will bring me out too. He brought my mama out. He brought my ancestors out. We would not be here today if he did not bring our ancestors out of slavery, out of bondage, brought them up from up under the foot of the white man, brought them up from up under him, gave us opportunity to get stuff right, gave us opportunity to take back what they stole from us. But because we don't want to unite together, then that's what holds up the blessing. 
The black people have to understand. There ain't going to be no blessing if there ain't no unity. Mm, amen. We have to stop all this bickering and hating on one another, talking about each other, backbiting one another, hating on each other. God right. can't deal with you when you in a mess like that. He cannot deal with until our minds come on one accord, like the day of Pentecost. If they were up in that room thinking about all the foolishness, the Holy Ghost would have never came. You've got to be on one accord to see the miracles of the Lord. Hallelujah. Everybody can't be just doing their own thing. Like in the book of Judges, every man does what is right in their own eyes. We have to come together. We have to come together because unity is what the Lord blesses. Unity is what the Lord loves. Thank you, Jesus. See, the enemy loves division. He loves division. He hates unity. So that's why he tries to come up in the body of Christ and cause discord among the brethren. And not just in the body of Christ in general, with unbelievers too. Unbelievers too. You see, all they do is backbite each other, talk about each other, hate on one another. You very seldom meet somebody who's really genuinely, I'm talking about from their heart, happy that you progressing, happy you in good health, happy you doing better. You hardly ever meet people like that. Amen, somebody. Amen. You hardly ever meet people like that. And if it's, and I know, if, if you hardly ever meet people like that, that say that they are believers. So you can imagine about the people in the world, the unbelievers. So we, as the children of God, we have to understand unity is very important. You have to, you know, understand that we have to be able to trust each other. We can't be out there telling people, uh, telling each other's business, out there talking about each other, out there hating on each other, you know, out there back backbiting each other. It's not, a, that's not the will of the Lord. And a lot of people are blocking their blessings because of that behavior. Amen, somebody. When you have that type of mentality, you're not going to get blessed. You ain't going to get but so far, okay? Because the Lord does not, he, he's not pleased with that type of attitude. He, he looks for unity. He looks for the people that can unify, and then he'll come in and do the multiplying. Hello. Amen. He not looking for all these folk out here. Negative. Woe is me. This, that, and the other. This one talking about that one. This one sleeping with that one boyfriend. That one sleeping with that one husband. This one sleeping with that one girlfriend. He's not looking for them type of people. He's looking for folk that's going to bond together. Even if you got a mess going on, you lay it at the feet of the cross. Amen. And you ask the Lord to help you. Whatever the mess is, but we don't go and try to cover stuff up and then want God to bless us over a mess. No, we got to get purged. We got to get clean. We got to get washed in the blood. Amen. So it has to start somewhere. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. So y'all clap your hands. Give God a praise, please, please, please. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, so saints of God, stay encouraged, stay on your journey. Do not let the adversary pull you down where you just forget how far you done came. I That's mean, all that. I come too far and I ain't gonna turn back. Me too. I come too far and I'm never turning back. I don't care how many times I fall down and I got to get back up again. I ain't going back to Egypt, I know that much. That's right. All right, let the church say amen. I'm a pastor, Mike, in Jesus' amen. name. Deacon is Miriam. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I just thank God for his word today. It's such a powerful, powerful, powerful message uh, from the word of God today. One of my favorite scriptures, um, truly, 
you know, and there's so many, so many nuggets in here. But what I took away is that our strength and our power, our ability uh, to get things done, if you will, comes from the Lord. It is not anything that we can take credit for on our own by no means. And that's why the word Amen. says, we are weak, he is strong. <laughs> Often, you know, we uh, are in situations where we are praying for things, whether it's a, a family member to be healed or delivered or to come to Christ. And we don't see it in the natural eye, you know, with our naked eye, but God is moving in the spirit and the yeah. healing. The salvation has already come. We may not see it. So it is in those times when we do not see or, or believe that we hear what God has promised. The, the lesson today is to just hold on. Do not despair. Because see, God does not lie. He is faithful in all his yes. And so if he says you are healed, you're healed. Yes. You're delivered, you're delivered. Yes. Okay. And there's a process. And we have to trust the process. That's and right. In God. So I just thank him today for his word and just uh, the word to encourage us to keep on keeping on and to always trust the Lord and his promises because he said, I shall meet your need. He didn't say yeah. need. He said, I shall meet your need. That encompasses everything that concerns everything. So I thank God for that today. Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. And she said it in a nutshell. Trust the process. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Okay, Crystal. Um, can y'all hear me? Yeah. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Oh, okay, because I feel like I'm having some technical difficulties. But I want to thank and praise God this morning for the reading of the word. Um, it, it's just a reminder, you know, um, I thank and praise God for reminding us, you know, uh, we are not um, uh, above uh, suffering. You know, uh, we want to feel like when we come to Jesus Christ, we know God has worked it all out. But sometimes we forget. that. We if we want you know wrong and that's oh your because, phone's going in and out crystal crystal okay log back in log back in because now you're frozen log back in crystal because now you're frozen Okay, technical difficulties with her phone, but we'll go ahead. She'll log back in. Go ahead, Monique. Praise God. I thank God for um, the word on today because this is the exact message that um, I was giving the co-worker yesterday. Well, the um, higher up in the office yesterday, I was telling her, you know, um, um, and I didn't know that we was going to have this as, as a lesson on today. You know, but I thank God for the confirmation, you know, to stay on your journey and to keep trusting God. Yes. To hold on because, you know, um, um, life is going to happen. Yes. Um, it's better to go through with Jesus than to go through without him. Amen. Uh, I just thank God for the reiteration on the day, the confirmation, you know, because um, it, this is a lesson um, that that. Um, beginners need to know early on in the journey so they yes. won't go back to Egypt. Because right. I, tell you, I remember and I often reflect back on um, when the lady was telling me, oh yeah, um, I see demons and this, that, and all. I'm like, what? You <laughs> look, lady, you know, And I, but I'm going to tell you something. But, but see, that's because of lack of knowledge. Amen. You know, and God did, you know, it is written that you know, my people perish for the lack of knowledge, but it'll make you turn around and go back because you you think that when you give your life to Christ, that's it. Right. But that's the beginning. 
Right. You know, and no one is teaching you how to stay on your journey in these places. All they want to do, if they even tarry with you, because a lot of people are not doing that, you know, anymore. Amen. They don't even have altars in the place anymore. Mm. You, know, you can walk right on the on the floor. I mean, it's no kind of pulpit or nothing. It's no. not holy or set aside for God in the churches anymore. It's so, not. you know, so, you know, I just thank God for being in the truth. That's what it, it just reiterates. You know, he's, uh, he's letting them know God has a standard. There is a, a, a process and there is levels to this and no one was listening. You understand me? God is holy. And he says that plenty of times in the Bible, there are certain things that you don't enter in or touch until Amen. you get to a certain level. But Amen. teaching, they're not teaching that. And every level is not for everyone. Amen. You know, you know so I thank God for um, knowing you know, that there's a process to everything and there's levels and that, you know, you have to level up in, yes. order, in order to get to um, certain um, a certain thing, um, position in God. You yes. understand? You can't Amen. be drinking the milk and think you're going to get what the meat eaters are getting. You can't, <laughs> you know, it's a process. It's a Amen. Of just like you, you you go through a gestational period where you and, and you in your side your mom's womb you understand me all these is a process in you know god that way it has to grow you understand me you just don't come out you just don't automatically come in the world eating meat right so amen like it, it's a process you don't automatically come in the world and you're walking it's a process, process. you have stronger before your legs can stand up and move so Amen. It's the same process when it, when it comes to god you know Amen. it's like the same process in christ it has to grow it has to be nourished so it can grow but i thank god for learning that because i thought that i was getting ready to jump and slay demons hello <laughs> <laughs> You understand me? I thought that that I was about to um run that marathon and I ain't even did a race yet. So, you know, but but see, that's you know that's because you be so ecstatic when you come to God. You think that hey hey I didn't did it now I've arrived. Mm -hmm. But it's not that simple. It's amen. just the, the the part that you chose God is is the amen hallelujah but what have you done since you believed yes amen you know i thank god for you know being in the right teaching to even know that because a lot of places is not teaching us that so i thank god for the word on the day and i thank god because it just reiterates and let me know that um you know that you know god loved me unconditionally to even put me on my feet on the right path Thank Amen. You, Amen. Amen. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, Crystal, you can finish. Okay. Praise the Lord, everybody. I just thank and praise God for this word on this morning. Uh, Sister Monique was so right. It's just so on point. Um, no matter where you at on your journey, you have to know um, as God is taking in you and you are walking with him, you're going to go through some things. Why? Because God, he got to test you to know if Amen. he can trust you with certain Amen. things you know he's not just giving you his gems for you to go and uh what they say sow your pearls amongst the swine you know mm -hmm. you got to go through some things you know so yeah. I, but i think and praise god that while you going through he's not gonna leave you he's gonna no. be right there with you and once you get that mindset um it changes things you know as i was mentioned you have to go through of some changes if you want to be changed okay um and i remember i still do it when i'm crying and i'm you know my heart is just so heavy i still will muster up uh, enough breath to sing hallelujah anyhow anyhow and sometimes it might feel like um you're not being you know sincere like in your flesh because your spirit wants to sing this to the lord but your flesh is trying to trying to put you in the chokehold. 
you know? But I have been in that situation many times and I still will sing it. Hallelujah, anyhow, never let the devil get you down. When life troubles come your way, hold your head up high and say, say hallelujah, hallelujah, anyhow. And I yes. thank you, praise God for that because God is so faithful. When he see you pressing like that, God know what's going on in this world. And he knows that he is going to have the last say. And he Amen. knows that we are going to be victorious. So I thank and praise God for that on day, on today, for the trials, the changes, but most of all, for the victory that we shall see. If we yes. faint not, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Anyhow. Amen. Amen. All right, Gabrielle. Are you available, Gabby? Hey, Mom, I'm just in listening mode. I'm listening to everybody, and I'm just taking okay. it in. Okay, all right. Okay, let's move on to Jasmine. Hey, Village. Um, what I got out of the scripture um, that was read was, he said, um, you're going to go through things. Um, trust me. You know, it's definitely yeah. a process. It's definitely a process. I got I got strength today from the reading of the word. Um yeah. because once before I I didn't see the strength, you know, reading the Bible. I didn't feel anything. Um when I was going through things, um, you know, I would just be going through it. You know, I never yeah. thought to say, you know, Jesus, you know, yeah. in the same sentence. So I just want to thank the Lord for the reading of the word. Because like I say, every time, you know, um, a scripture go up in the air, I definitely get strength from it. Yeah. You know, so I can look at things that I go through in a whole nother aspect. I don't sit and dwell on it. I've got to talk. i got to talk to Jesus. You know, yes. and then I may call someone and then we get to talking about Jesus. Yes. And, you know, how did, you know, what Jesus is going to do, you know, to fix this situation or the things that I'm going through. So yeah. I just want to thank the Lord for getting um, strength from yeah. the reading of the word because, you know, I'm learning different things every time I get on. Yeah. Phone. Hallelujah. Anyhow, it ne never heard. Hallelujah. It yeah. So I just want to thank the Lord for um, putting um, thank different um, things in my life for me to work on. Um, when I get on Zoom, I, I, I like I said, I, I take a lot from it, and I try to, you know, use it from, even with the kids. You know, they're still yeah. here listening too. So, yeah. you know, I just want to thank the Lord for my strength. Yeah. yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Anyhow, but the uh, the good thing, the good news is, once you know and you are being taught that you know suffering is a part of the child of God's life. Um, it's not, it's not, it's, and what did Paul say? It's temporary. It's te afflictions are temporary, but they don't teach you that in the church. So this is why people always want to go back to Egypt. But once you know it's a temporary thing, then you are not just, to, I don't tell you it's just temporary. Uh, the Bible shows us, and I find the answer to, in the Bible, how do we stay on our journey in the in the mess in the in the um going through the season when I'm passing through it? How do I stay on my journey by what practicing the things of God? Okay, that's how you get your strength. That's how you get over it. That's how you jump over the hurdle. It's a test. Again, you're being trained in the army of the Lord. So there's all kind of obstacles that God can put us through to get over the test. Okay. All right. Okay, TT. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy come in the morning. Yes. I'm waiting for my morning. Thank you, Lord. Yes. <laughs> for the for the word. Yes. It was strictly for me. It was just yes. for me. that thing was personal right there. Yes. Just, thank God. Just just for you know, reminding me and confirmation and just giving me my strength. Cause I'm telling you, some them, them weekdays just yeah. feel like it just I don't know. It just the weekdays be something else. But I just thank God for just, you know, the strength, 
through his word and through, you know, through everybody on the village or whatever, just yeah, each other the strength, being able to lean on each other to learn and get what you need. Yes. But the devil make you feel like it ain't nobody there or nobody ain't gonna understand or, you know, just make you feel like you can't call on nobody or just make you feel like you no, they ain't gonna understand. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna know what you're going through. Or, right. you know, the devil make you feel like that. But I just thank God for just thank God for Jesus. Yeah. I, just, I just thank God for Jesus. Y'all continue to pray my strength. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Your strength comes from the Lord. No matter what, you rebuke that devil. The devil is alive. I rebuke it in Jesus' name because God is here for me and he's going to help me out on my journey. Amen. 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 All right, Kamiko. Look like your phone done froze, Kamiko. Okay, log out, Kamiko, and log back in. Your phone has frozen. All right, I'm going to move on to uh, Jada or uh, Tasia. Did y'all want to say something? Okay. All right, they probably don't. Okay, uh, that's okay. Shaquavia, did you want to say something? Welcome. Um, I just want to say good morning, and um, I kind of overslept. I woke up at five and then went back to sleep, so I missed the whole dog on service. And That's all right. Kind of upset, but um, uh -huh. I just want to say pray for us, and we're gonna keep. Oh. We're gonna keep having strength in the Lord. Amen. 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 We will. We're going to keep you in prayer. And you know, you that's okay. You old, you overslept, but God is still good. You still came on. So you'll still get you some word. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I think that um Kamiko had to sign out because she cut it out. She uh her phone went out. I mean, she had froze. So so we're gonna move on. I'll come back to her. Here she comes. Let me get her. I think that's her coming back on here. Yeah, that's her. All right, Kamiko, you can go ahead. I don't know. I'm having difficulty with my phone, but um, yeah, I just know that um, repercussions behind everything you said because I'm telling you, when that lady said what she said to me, because I'm in the house now, when I told y'all earlier about what she asked me about Christmas, yeah, when she said what she said to me, I normally I would have really. I, I just rebuked it because normally I would not have rebuked it. Right, right. So, <laughs> I know that God is working on my brain because yes, we all go through everything. Or everybody on this call, everybody goes through yes. something. Or every I ain't gonna say all the time, but most of the time, everybody got something that they're going through. And like you yes. told me the day we had our one on one, you told me don't say the word struggle. Keep the word struggle out your mouth. I've been yes. keeping that word struggle out my mouth ever since. And yes. things has just been happening, you know, because I, the ju I ain't even going to say the struggle. The juggle is real. Yes, yes. The, the, the yes. juggle with a J is real. Yes, yes. J for Jesus, J for juggle. Juggle. Yes, right. So I just want y'all to know that things work out. All you got to yes. do is keep your faith. I, I cry. I don't yes. know where I'm getting my we next whatever from. Yes. We, we all go through our storms. Trust yeah. me. Y'all be having episodes up in here. But yeah. you know what? I can't keep feeling sick about it and, and claiming sickness and, and having pains and stuff like that because, you know, I have, you know, a disease that gives me a lot of pain in my rectum and stuff like that. So I've been having a lot of rectal pain. And I just mm -hmm. can't take that rectal pain away because it's nothing but the stress. And That's I don't want to keep stressing. So right. I'm just keeping my strength you know, and keeping it where I just always put God first, no matter what I do, whether I'm wrong, 
whether I'm right. I, I just ha- take that time every day and I have my time with the Lord. Amen. The other morning, but she said, Ma, can I stay home from school today? No, you getting out of here. Why? <laughs> because last week you was in Florida. You're out of here today. So she was mad or whatever. I ain't here. But when she left, I turned that gospel music on and I just get into my own thing and I just thank the Lord for everything that I have because I don't have much and I don't try to have much, but I have the things that God blessed me with. So That's I'm right. truly thankful to the Lord that no matter what I do, the Lord continues to in my mouth the praise and the blessing and everything. I don't That's pray right. like God doing stuff, but I understand. So yeah. I just want y'all to know that I do keep God first in my life and things is changing in my life. I just got to work on my stress level and I got to work on not worrying all the time because when yeah. I worry, it brings on the sickness and I'm tired of being sick all the time. So I'm just going to give it to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory. So that's what I'm doing. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank glory. You. Glory. Praise God. We praise God. Yes, we got to give it over to Jesus. And when you give it over, you can't keep flip-flopping. If you're going to give it to him, let it stay there. Let it stay there. Let it stay there. You don't keep flipping, flopping, picking it back up, stressing all over again. Picking it back up. No. When you feeling that stress trying to come on you, rebuke it. I rebuke this stress. Nope, nope, nope. You not finna get me? No. In Jesus' name. No. In Jesus' name. All right. Go ahead, Deacon Ruben. <laughs> I like to piggyback on what uh Kamiko said. She told she said, You got to get up out of here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Amen. Uh, sometimes you gotta take that, you gotta tell that rectum, get your rectum pains up out of here. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, because I get I get I get to I get every pain in my body, but you know what? It's all right. It's all right, because I'm telling you, when I was at work up there and that lady said that to me, I'm telling you, if I wasn't Puerto Rican, I was, because I was ready hey. to put hands on that lady for even oh saying something like that. Wow. But I, just, I, just, so- I prayed on it, I rebuked it, I told it right to her face. I said, I'm rebuking you right now. She said, excuse me? I said, yeah. <laughs> Because yeah. who, is you, who is you to be saying something like that about somebody Yo. something, about something in somebody's <laughs> family? Hey, that's the same thing happened last night. I went with some fam, and here comes some nasty little dirty devil talking some crazy devilish talk. I said, you got to, I rebuke, you got to get your rectum tail out of here. You okay? (laughs) Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got to speak, you got to speak to the mountains. You got to tell them, get up out of here. Yeah. And then then you got to do like what what Sister Kimmy said, you got to put that word Put yeah. that word in the atmosphere. Don't you know we cracked that 91 on that song and so we bust out. We started talking and we started screaming at 91. Next thing you know, everything was all good. You know, because God God said, God said what he do and he do what he said. And Amen. it ain't never changed and never going to change. So Amen. whenever anything, situations arises, just put the word on it. Put that out in the atmosphere. Get together with some believers. And, and, you know, we got each other's backs. You know what Amen. I'm saying? And we thank you, Sister together. Kim, because you told me to, you said, put the gospel music on every day yeah. right. and have your time with the Lord. So that's yeah. what I do every day. When I'm home working in the house, the house is quiet, I put the gospel <clears throat> music on every day, and that's helping me a lot. Yes. Glory. Hey, man, we got to stick together. We not never alone. We always a phone call away from another prayer buddy. And that the prayer yeah. buddies ain't of it. We get on the main line, on the main line to the heaven. Call on our sweet Jesus, and He got us. So, and no matter what's going on, hey, we got He got us. He gonna take good Amen. care. Stay strong, hey, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We thank God for this word on today, for this word of hope. That's what it that's what it brought today. It brought some strength and some hope to the child of God. Because Paul's saying we press down, but guess what? We keep it moving. We cast down, but not destroy. The devil can't destroy us. He can wear us out, y'all. He can make us sad. He can make wear us out, you know, punch here, punch there. He can wear you out now, but he can't destroy you. 
And that's a blessing, you know, to know that, you know, you in a fight, but you know, uh, at the end of the day, the end of the road, you're going to win the fight. You just got to go through some punches. You know, when they win them belts, them titles in boxing, a lot of them men have to go through a whole bunch of head blows. You the know, repercussions, the repercussions. <laughs> yes. So, you know, it, it does not mean, uh, you know, what's the most important thing is we make the finish line, y'all. We get to the promised land. So that's what we need to put our focus on, knowing that I'm just passing through this. Lord, I'm just praying. I'm putting it in your hands. Father God, you know, I'm just asking you to work it out. I know it's a process. So every time I get up, but another thing too, when you're praying and you're putting the gospel music on and you're reading your word and you're meditating, you have to, you have to remember, you have to anticipate your answer. You have to anticipate your healing. That means you have to look for it. Amen. If you're putting in the work, then you have to look for the, you have to start looking for the results. When you get up in the morning, like she said, uh, weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. You got to wake up and be like, today is my day of joy. My joy is coming to me in the name of Jesus on today. Okay. You have to start declaring things in the air. You have to, the Bible say, death and life lies in the power of the tongue. So we have to start declaring whatever you want to happen over your life, declare it over your life with your mouth. It has to come out your mouth. Amen. All right. All right. In the mighty name of Jesus. All right. So we thank God for his word today. Beautiful, Amen. glorious word. Um, in a, a time of trouble, we can always turn to his word. Yeah. So everybody get your scriptures ready. We're going to go through the scripture for the week. I need everybody to uh, get your scriptures for the week ready. Um, scriptures for the week. Whoever got their scripture, go ahead. I'm going to go first because I don't have my scripture ready, but I'm going to meditate this week on trusting in the Lord with all my heart. Okay. That's amen. my scripture for the week. All right. Amen. Amen. All right. Next. All right. Mine is Psalms 121. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help, my help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Amen. Amen. That's, a, that's one of the songs that was on praise and worship. Amen. Uh, that song was on praise and worship this morning. All right. Amen. Next. I coming out of Psalm 91, uh, verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Mm. Amen. Amen. His truth. That means his word. It will cover you and it will serve you in the midnight hour. When you're weeping, when you're weeping and you start quoting his word, it will serve you as a butler. Amen. It will serve you. It will give you whatever you need. Amen. Next. Thank you. Anybody else have their scripture for the week? I was trying to figure out what, what scripture that was, but um, that's my scripture for the week. We've been made okay. do it, I do it come in the morning. I don't know what which one it uh, is. Jasmine, you can tell her, don't you got that script? Remember I told you to start reciting that scripture? It's Psalm 5. I think it's Psalm 5, uh, 5 1. I think. All right, we know it's in the book of Psalms, it's chapter 5. Okay. Yes. Okay, next. Amen. Uh, Psalm 68, 1. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let those also who hate him flee before him. Amen. That's Amen. 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 Next. Okay, mine is uh, Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea? 
And what was that Psalm what? 46. Okay. All right. Okay, next. Mine's is going to be Psalm 100, verse 5. The Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth is sure to all generations. Amen. His mercy endureth to all generations. Hallelujah to Jesus. Shaquavia, did you want to give a scripture? She's probably be, uh, busy with her baby. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, yes, I did want to um, give a scripture. I wanted to give second um, Corinthians. Uh -huh. And when the Lord saw that they were humbled themselves, the Lord came to Shem Shemai Shemia saying they have humbled themselves. Therefore, I will not destroy them, but I will grant them deliverance. Wow. Wow. He will grant them deliverance. Amen. 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 God is surely our deliverer. Well, amen. Well, we thank God for all the scriptures on today. Hope you guys keep steadfast and meditate on them through the week. And I'm going to uh, let turn it over to Deacon Miriam. Uh, Deaconess Miriam, she's going to do the, um, the prayer for the sick and shut in. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come this morning, Lord God, just thanking you, Lord God, for another day. Thanking you another day, Lord, in the land of the living. And yes. Father, you forgive us, Lord God, of our sins, sins of omission. Omission, those sins that we knowingly committed and unknowingly committed, any unforgiveness, Lord, that we have held on to, Lord God, uh, that has prevented us from entering into your uh, healing, Lord God, forgive us. Mm -hmm. Father, that any generational curses or witchcraft, Father God, yeah. that the, uh, the family or villages and communities are dealing with, Lord God, let mm -hmm. those curses be broken, Father God. Yeah. Season, Lord God. And Father God, the spirit of idolatry, Lord God, forgive us for that spirit of idolatry, Lord God. Yes. Allow, Lord God, uh, healing to take place, Lord God, in our bodies, mentally, physically, and spiritually, Lord God. Cause our bodies, Lord God, to align to your word of God, Lord God, so that they yes. would as you intended, Lord God. Mm -hmm. I ask that you would touch those who are in pain today, Lord God. Those who are suffering from chronic diseases and illnesses yeah. that are crippling their bodies. Lord, we know that mm -hmm. you are a healer. You said healing is the children's bread. Lord God, yeah. allow them to be healed, Father God, to walk in healing, Lord God, to take up their sick bed, Lord God, and follow you, Jesus. Yeah. And Seek you all the days of their life, Lord God, and to give you all glory and honor and praise, Lord God. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. 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 Glory, glory, glory. Yes. Healing and deliverance all come from the Lord. And it is the children's bread. Yes. Mm -hmm. amen. amen. All right. Thank you so much, Deaconess, for that prayer. And let's go ahead and touch on while we still everybody is on here. Um, Deaconess, do you want to touch on the Sunday school for the children? How y'all going to do this date? Like, how y'all going to work it out each month? Yeah. So All right, so starting, uh, we in December, so start in January. Amen. So starting in January, um, what I would like to do is do a children's church every other Sunday by age, whereas we start from the babies up to maybe age 11, one Sunday, and then the next Sunday, so like even Sundays, we will do um, the older children you know, 12 and over. And then uh, on the odd Sundays, like the first and third Sundays or fifth Sunday, we will do the younger children, the zero to 11, if 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 that is okay with the parents. And so we would like to do 30 minutes just to get started. And, uh, and I'll always send out the scripture uh, lesson in our reading in advance. So if the... Uh, youth want to read and study um, mm. that and then I would just want to hear from the parents that you know that's something that would work for them you know mm -hmm. okay so you said 
Um, so the first the first Sunday of each month will be for the little ones. Yes. Uh huh. Zero okay. seven. Okay, and then the second Sunday will be for the older ones. Yes. Uh huh. And then you'll just rotate. The next one will be the little ones again, and then the older ones. Yes, and I'll, I'm happy to send out a schedule or a calendar with the lesson plan. Yes, if you could do that, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. that sounds that'd be awesome. Okay, amen, that sounds good. Okay, so all mothers and fathers, this is that's how it's gonna be starting January. It starts at nine, it's gonna be from, from we're starting off at nine to 9.30 for right now. It's gonna be nine to 9.30. So um, again, the first week of the, uh, the first Sunday will be the little ones, the second Sunday, the older ones, then the third Sunday, the little ones again, and then the older ones on the last Sunday. Right. And for the, for the little ones, what I'd like to do is do the Bible uh, stories for them, you know? Yes. That they That'd can be perfect. And they can capture, you know, the visual, you know, scripture based, but Bible yes. story. They'll yes. Understand who Sarah is, who Adam is, and who Joseph is, and, yes. and life. Okay. So that's. Yes, that'll be perfect. That'll be perfect. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, we'll see starting we're going to start this new schedule uh come January I would like everybody who is in the village with children to, to uh, participate in it have your children participate for whatever their age category is yes, I got questions yeah, for Kim. yeah. yeah. You know those on um, what she was saying about the um the for the little kids the um what, what is those little Bibles called with the stories and stuff in it? They just call it Bibles or? Well, I like there, yeah, there's a different. Um, I use a book of Bible stories, but I know what you're talking about—the little blue books, right? Yeah, the little kid. Well, what's for the little kids? Because um, you know, I don't can't read, and so I want to get like one of the ones that that's made for her. Okay, how old is Autumn? She four. four reading that's good <laughs> oh praise god okay well what i'll do is uh for the parents um i'll send out a couple of different uh, curriculum style books you know that if you guys can take a look at it and say okay yeah i like this okay because um even though a lot of the christian bookstores are closed you can still order things online and okay. so if you do something more like a series for them i can certainly take a look and have some suggestions out to you guys and uh, for the children in those age groups, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that that's gonna get, you know, our young people involved and we have to find a way to introduce them to the Lord. So that's gonna get give them a way to get introduced to Jesus, you know? And when they're that young, they understand by pictures, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So that's that's excellent, um, Deaconess. So everybody good on that? Parents, yes. Everybody's good. Grandparents, parents, yes. Okay. All right. All right. Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and remember um um spoken word is still available. Spoken word. I'm waiting on the spoken words up in the village. Uh anybody you know work still working on your spoken word. And uh, we'll have Bible study come Tuesday. We're still in the book of Acts. It's getting really good. So I encourage everybody to try to come out on Tuesday at 7 o'clock. Amen? Amen. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Um, go ahead, um, Sister Crystal. You want to get do the benediction for us today? Jesus, please. Lord Jesus, we thank you uh, for waking us up this morning. Lord, we ask that you please forgive us of our sins and all unrighteousness that we have committed, known and unknown, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for blessing us to come together in unity. We thank you for the word that you sent to us, Father God. We pray that the seed will fall on good ground and that we will bear much fruit. We thank yeah. you for 
telling us again that we will suffer, but it is only going to endure for the night. For joy will come in the morning. And we thank you, Lord, for your joy, Lord. Mm -hmm. We thank you for everything that you're doing in our lives. We thank you for all the teachings, all the corrections. We thank you for loving us, Father mm -hmm. God. We ask that you please continue to watch over us as we enter into a new week, Father God, that you help us to keep the right mindset and to know that whatever we're going through is temporary. Mm -hmm. um, we thank you, Jesus, for, for this day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 All right, villagers. I love you guys. Everybody be blessed. And hopefully I see everybody on Tuesday for our, uh, our you know, continuing the book of Acts. God is